Electricity and rust seems to be an underutilized aspect of the game. I rarely see players using electricity. This may be due to the perceived complexity that surrounds it, and that complexity may deter newer players from using electricity. Nonetheless, in this video, I will demonstrate three simple circuits that every Rust player should know. As always, I've separated the video into four different sections, and you can find the timestamps for each on screen now as well as in the description down below. Finally, if you find this video helpful, please consider dropping a like since it really helps me out, and if you want to see more Rust content from me, subscribing is the way to go. Now onto the video. First, we have to get to know the electrical components that we'll be using. Root Combiners. This component takes two electrical outputs and combines them into one. Blockers. If powered, this component blocks electricity from passing through it. Switches. Just a simple switch, on and off. Batteries. They come in three different sizes, small, medium, and large, and store electrical charge. Solar panels. They harness the power of the sun to create electricity. They are affected by shadows. Be sure to place them facing north for optimal power generation. HPHF sensors, a heartbeat sensor that detects players in a 10 meter radius. Door controllers, opens or closes a door that it's paired to. Knights in Rust are notorious for being extremely dark. Why not lighten up your base with these automatic lights? The components that you'll need are ceiling lights, a larger medium battery, a blocker, a root combiner, three solar panels, and the wire tool. First, place down your battery. Place down the root combiner and the blocker close to it. Then, head to your roof and place two solar panels facing directly north. Then, place the last panel facing at about 355 when you look at your compass. After that, Connect the two north-facing solar panels to the root combiner. Connect the combined output to the battery. Next, connect the output from the battery to the blocker. Connect the last solar panel to the side of the blocker. Finally, place the ceiling light and connect the blocker's output to it. Turrets are an excellent and automated way for you to protect your base and the area around it. The components that you will need are a turret, a large or medium battery, two solar panels, a switch, a root combiner, and the wire tool. To start off, place down your battery. After that, place down your root combiner. Then, head to your roof and place down two solar panels facing north. Connect each panel to the root combiner. Once you've done that, connect the combined output from the combiner to the battery. Next, place down the switch and connect the battery to it. After that, place down your turret, authorize on it, fill it with the gun of your choice, and connect it to the switch. Finally, turn on the switch. An automatic garage door can be very useful if you don't want to get out of your car to get into your garage. The components that you will need are a wire tool, a large or medium battery, two solar panels, a root combiner, an HPHF sensor, and a door controller. First, place down your battery. Then, place down the root combiner close to your battery. After that, head to your roof and place your solar panels facing north. Next, connect each solar panel to one of the inputs on the root combiner and then connect the output of the root combiner to the battery. Then, place the HPHF sensor outside above your door. Following this, place the door controller close to your door. Unlock your door, pair the controller, and then relock your door. Be sure that the door is closed when pairing. 
You'll know that the pairing was successful if the lower light shines green. Then all you have to do is wire the HBHF sensor to the battery and the door controller to the HBHF sensor. Be sure that when you look at the sensor it says exclude authorized. Well, that's it for this guide. I hope you learned something. If you did, please consider dropping a like, and if you want to see another Rust guide from me, be sure to subscribe. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments or come and ask me over at my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash mamamisi. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day, and don't fucking electrocute yourself.